Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Hakuna La Planta. My name is Kevin, and today I'm going to show you five philodendrons that are just pushing out new growth. Guys, it is springtime now. There's tons of sun. It's a little warmer. And I think the plants know it because not only the plants that I have here, but my entire collection, there's just new growth everywhere. So again, I'm going to show you five philodendrons that have pushed out some gorgeous growth. And yeah, I'm excited. And really guys, I have like no one to show these plants to, aside from my boyfriend and he's already sick and tired of me talking about them. So yeah, I just want to show them off to you guys because I'm really excited about them and I want to share that with you guys. Anyways, before I start this video, if you're new here and you like these kind of videos, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. And also follow me on Instagram if you like planty pictures, planty things, also dramatic pictures that I take of myself with my plants. And yeah, I guess we'll jump right into the video. So the first plant, she is a true stunner. She's actually right over there. You could see her already. So this is the Philodendron Melanochrysum. Here specifically, guys, in the middle is the newest leaf. This is kind of the main reason why I want to make this video, just to show off this new leaf. So you could see that she's not fully green yet. She hasn't hardened off yet. And she's just such a cutie. Also, guys, is this the thumbnail? <gasps> So I haven't really showcased this plant enough um, on my YouTube just because I feel like I'm going to mess something up and it's going to die. And I know I shouldn't feel that way and I should trust my abilities to keep plants alive and help them thrive. So yeah, I got this plant in June 2020. And believe it or not, guys, the leaves were much bigger when I got it. I'll put a picture here. And I kind of knew at that point that I wouldn't initially have leaves that big right away. But I mean, of course, I am thrilled with just the leaves and the growth. And let me pick her up again because I'm obsessed. And I didn't show you all the leaves. So this is the oldest leaf here. It is also the biggest one. Then it pushed out this one. And then there's one right behind here. And then the newest leaf over here. So. All of these leaves were grown under my care. You could see that she is in LECA and passive hydroponics. And yeah, I think another reason why the leaves are progressively getting smaller is because during the winter time, I didn't really blast the plant with a lot of nutrients. I actually diluted it a bit during the winter just because there was less light. And I don't actually have this plant under any kind of grow light. So I just thought that I didn't need to feed it as much. Now that it's getting brighter and warmer, I'm definitely going to go full blast with my nutrients, full blast. So again, guys, the first plant is the Philodendron Melanochrysum. Okay, moving on to the second plant. The second Philodendron is the Philodendron Plowmanii. So I know I showed you this plant two or three weeks ago, but she has since pushed out a new leaf. And so here she is, guys. So this is the newest leaf here. <gasps> Whoa, oh my God. She is a beauty. And like comparison to my head, she is like bigger than my head. That is crazy. <laughs> I think in the previous video, I was showcasing this one and the leaf after that, the newest leaf, they're like the same size. Look how big they are. But yeah, I mean, she's gorgeous and she only just started uh, hardening off. And I'm so thrilled at how far this plant has come. For perspective, this is the oldest leaf right over here. So this compared to this monster beast here. Also, I'll talk more in depth about uh, this plant in a future video, maybe in a few months, but I kind of had to save this plant when I first got it a year-ish ago. And I'll just pop a picture here. This was all that was left of the plant when I first got it. The roots kind of rotted and I just threw it into Lekka, put it in a sunny place, and now look at her now. She's just a stunner. Okay guys, so the second plant is the Philodendron Plowmanii. Okay, so moving on to the third plant, the third philodendron is 
the philodendron florida ghost florida ghosts tend to kind of vary when it comes to the appearance of the leaf and it all depends on lighting mainly but i'm in love with this new leaf here it is minty and the shape is just so pretty and yeah i will never get over how pretty this plant is even the leaf previous to that guys gorgeous and because of my massacre with my florida ghosts if you haven't seen that video check it out here i'm going to put a link somewhere here but because of that massacre, I wanted more green in my leaves. So I've been experimenting with lighting and I kind of failed because this leaf came out <laughs> right after I did that. But then I was kind of successful because then this one came out, which had a bit more green and minty kind of flavor. And then finally, guys, the newest leaf is so pretty. I have a few Florida ghosts, but this one is definitely my favorite when it comes to new leaves and new foliage. Oh, look at her. So again, guys, the third plant is the Philodendron Florida ghost. The fourth plant is one that, again, I showed you guys recently. But again, these plants are pushing out new growth left, right, and center. And so this is the Philodendron 69686. So I'll show you the leaf before the newest leaf. So she's a cutie, but look at this new leaf, guys. So she hasn't fully hardened off, but she's giving me insane, like UPI vibes. Like the skinny part here, and then the large leaf over there. And of course the lobes or ears or whatever you call them. But yeah, this leaf is so long and so big. <laughs> Look at this. I honestly can't wait for this leaf to harden off. Um, and I think it might grow a little bit more just because you could feel it's still not ready to, you know, I don't think this is its real, I'm, I'm panicking. <laughs> I'm just so excited. This leaf is gorgeous. Like, this is insane. And I think I've mentioned to you guys how much I've struggled um, in regards to rooting of this plant and just really achieving the signature 69686 shape. And to remind you guys, here's a picture here. It does not look like one. It's missing, you know, these signature lobes here. Um, but I think it wasn't happy or it was just adjusting. And like I said, the roots... It was so difficult for this plant to root in my experience, but now she's so happy. Like all these leaves look so pretty. I just can't get over. Ooh, look at this plant. Oh my gosh. Anyways, guys, the fourth plant is the philodendron 69686. Okay, so we're down to the last plant. This plant has yet to appear on my Instagram and I think I showed it once in the houseplant tour. But yeah, this plant is not a known philodendron, but she is so gorgeous. So this here, guys, is, oh God. Do you know what? I don't have the name, but I'll put it here. It's like a species modeled fits. I'm not gonna get it. So yeah, I think this plant is meant to be a terrarium plant. And you could see at the bottom here, um, it shingles up, similar to um, some Raphidophoras and I guess the Monstera dub dubia. Is that how you say it? Dubaya? So yeah, I just love the foliage of this plant. Like, gorgeous. Kind of giving me philodendron brantiatum vibes, but not as silver, but still silver. I'll pop a picture here. I don't know exactly when I got it, but I think the bottom leaves here are still from the original plant. But now guys, look at these leaves at the top. <laughs> I should have showed this in the beginning, but look at these leaves. So pretty. They're getting a lot bigger than the smaller ones. And I don't know why. Obviously, you could see that she has outgrown the moss pole. I think I might repot this and put it against like 
a coco coir board or something like that. Look at how gorgeous this leaf is. Oh, because this plant was sold as like a terrarium plant, I'm actually very impressed that I was able to acclimate it properly and also like try it in LECA and you know, it all turned out really well. So yeah, here again is this species of philodendron. She is a cutie. Okay guys, I guess that's it. I'm curious. I know we're in different parts of the world and you know, some places are cooler, some places are warmer, but are your philodendrons pushing out new growth like mine are? Obviously it's just the beginning of the growing season, which is really exciting. But yeah, let me know in the comment section below which philodendrons are just going wild right now. And also I'm curious, did your plants generally push out a lot of growth during the winter? Because mine did, which was really strange because a year ago, I don't know if it's the LECA thing or the lighting thing, but this winter, a lot of my plants didn't know it was winter. And yeah, if you've made it to the very end, thank you guys so much. I greatly appreciate it. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.